bringing it to you on a Thursday afternoon, September 1st, 2022. How you like that? Uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, we're doing our college portion and we're going to do something that I am uncomfortable with. <laughs> we're going to talk about an application that I've never done, I've never used, and I'm not going to use right now. As you know, I, I was a college counselor full time from the fall of 2004 to the fall of 2016. And then after that, um, I left uh, truth. I left education for a little bit. And uh, then when I came back to education in the fall of 2017 to actually right around the pandemic 2019, uh, I was a part time college counselor. And then during the pandemic and, and even now, I am simply a volunteer college counselor. So I'm not really not necessarily um, involved as I used to be, but I love it so much. And I really do, once I retire, hopefully at uh, 65, I'm 51 now, uh, I do want to get back to it full time, full time, not true. I want to get back to it part time, like real part time. So I really like it that much. That's why half of my channel is dedicated to college. And one of the things in 2015, the fall of 2015, was a new um, application where you could apply to many different schools in one application. Not the common application. I know I look back at my archives. I know I did three videos on that, but uh, this thing called the coalition application. Uh, we're not gonna really do it. Uh, I'm going out of my comfort zone. I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna try it, uh, give you an overview of it. And uh, that's about it. So here it is outside of my comfort zone. It is called the overview of the coalition application. That is what the application is called because we want to go from uh, applying to different schools to actually attending the school to actually graduating and going on into your future profession. And so this is just an overview of another option for a type of application that you could use for many different schools. So what is it? I kind of have to look it up because like I said, I never used it before and I'm not using it right now. Uh, one is one, a college application where kids can submit one primary application to many different schools. Like the common application, it's one application for different schools. Uh, individual schools may ask for supplementary information, whether it be fill-ins or whether it be a little essay, short answer. So it is an all-in-one because you just, that's why I picked this little picture here because you see many different pictures there, but yet all one application. All right, and well, honestly, when I was going to use it in 2015, 2016, which I didn't, I did notice this feature and I thought this was the coolest feature about the uh, coalition application. It has a locker and that's what it's called, a locker. It's an electronic locker. Just as this where you can stack books, apples, I'm, I'm being silly, and it does lock where only you and uh, the college uh, admission people can see it. This is where you can store essays, projects, and other materials for review by a college admission team. That is really cool because m there's no other application that I know of that actually will will store essays and projects that you actually are, that, get, that are graded, that are not graded, things that you actually used in school, and they're authentic and uh, I really do like that that you can you can give authentic examples of your work through this electronic locker through the coalition application again going on with our overview the application provides college prep materials which I'll show you later uh, briefly overview and guidance uh, again not common application doesn't do that and so I, I'm impressed with that and, but it is limited because uh, the many people, like hopefully I will someday, be private counselors, your, your regular school counselors. They're, they're really the, the people you really, the go-to people, but at least it, it gets your, your feet wet, it gets, gets you looking and, and, and observing so you can get to graduation, not only high school, but to college. Um, just like the common application, this application has, has a main essay and colleges may add several school specific essays uh, that may gear to their particular uh, genre of education, such as perhaps uh, environmental studies, business studies, medical studies, law studies. So you may really, you really do have to pay attention to the schools that you're applying to. But uh, I wanted to accentuate one particular, an actual essay topic that uh, I think is, is a little dicey and uh, 
and uh, the essay is submit an essay uh, on a topic of your choice. That could be very dicey because you really don't know, or, or wonky, I like that word wonky, uh, <laughs> that uh, you're really not sure and, and you, you may want to d- disclose everything about your life and everything. Look at my, this is the bottom here, look at my archives on, uh, this is under the college uh, portion of our YouTube channel. Look on the my archives on topics to avoid in a college essay. You want to always put your best self forward. You don't want to create controversy. You don't want to make yourself too, too, too much of a superman, superwoman. Uh, you, you really need to be very careful of a topic like that, of an essay topic of your choice, because you, you're going to want to brainstorm ideas, get thoughts down, do some research. Um, you're going to even want to throw some stuff away. You're going to be like, no, that's not right. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think that's what I want in order to get to that, uh, to that wise topic that you're going to choose in order to make you put your best self forward in your essay in your college uh, coalition app. And uh, on my last slide here for the coalition app is it, uh, uh, the common app does have a lot more colleges. However, there are between 150 and more closer to 200 schools uh, on this app. So, I mean, it is really worth looking at because colleges must meet these criteria, which are good criteria. They must be affordable in cost. So automatically, that's a, that's a green flag going, whoa, you know, at least these schools are for sure, they're somewhat attainable. Um, they offer need-based aid because remember, if you look back on my archives with a financial aid, there's a merit-based aid based on what your you know, your, your scores are, your grades are, that's merit-based aid. But need-based aid is perhaps if you, you, your, your family doesn't make too much money and they definitely offer that. So, I mean, that's another plus that you know that you're what you're walking into. And the third thing is they have a, a six-year graduation rate of 70% or higher. That's awesome because uh, it's very easy to fall into that slippery slope of being in school for 10 years because oh I take a class here oh wait I took the wrong class hey you want a school that for sure uh, in a perfect world gets you done in four years or even less at the most is six years because you really do want to move on because that you're not there to be a student for life you're there to get your education to pr- to put it toward to good use for your future profession so let's take a look at the home page I have to ask my wife I couldn't think of the right word the home page of the coalition coalition app now honestly what i did was i had it i had this page already starred you see the little star there uh if you're going to use the coalition app app or the common app or any type of application or anything of that of that nature make sure that you actually bookmark it so you're not looking and finding things and where is it i don't know what's going on this is the home page, and I think that's, that's a good sound advice. A home page of your coalition app, and I'm going to use my finger. I'm going to be a little adventurous here. As you scroll up, you see here, uh, learn more about the common app uh, on SCORE. That's pronounced SCORE. The reason is because this is really done through SCORE, and I'm not creating a SCORE account because my school doesn't use SCORE. And like I said, I am a volunteer, but a lot of colleges do use SCORE to book um, appointments with schools, to book uh, college fairs, and to also send out transcripts and scores through that score. So if you want to write it down, write it down. I don't have a score account, and it is pronounced score, even though it's spelled S-C-O-I-R. And so this is how it works through here. So you can actually do this application through that particular site through score so uh, I'm just telling you because I don't I don't have it uh, an app I mean for long I don't have a uh, an account uh, what's cool I'm just gonna show you here that this remember what I told you that they do offer help here are upcoming events for the coalition app which I think is very cool they have updates what's going on the CSS profile I have it on my on my list one day to do that that's another way of, uh, of applying for financial aid I'm not talking about it yet because that actually costs some money and I want to gear to uh, finding money uh, by not spending money uh, all, all about testing uh, about the FAFSA which I'm going to refresh you on uh, come in the October time period 
and succeeding college in their first generation. So these are just general little things, but you can actually become a member and find out more different things. But that's just a little thing that they may have. And I kind of like that because it offers you uh, the possibilities of, um, of help. Uh, also here you have blogs uh, for your for to help you your coalition uh, application here how to make the most of high school you have different uh, I'm not gonna touch it but you see let me let me try doing it this way so you see that there there are hyperlinks exploring colleges financial aid availability I think that's really cool of the coalition app because it gives you possibilities we have to do to I also have this on my notebook about transferring I definitely do want to do a, um, a a session on that. Uh, but not yet, but I'm just showing you stuff because these are things that we want to definitely uh, touch upon later on. You, I know here in the United States, Spanish is a big deal. Spanish is the secondary language here. Uh, they also have for families who are interested in Spanish uh, resources. A lot of people are, are here uh, who don't speak any English, so they're working on that. Uh, here you have upcoming events. And so you'll see here, so uh, that, oh, that's it. Oh, and of course, uh, advice to you. Uh, on following you on the uh, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, uh, Twitter, and Facebook. You can follow Louis D. Fresh on all those mediums as well. Same thing, Louis D. Fresh. But I wanted to show that to you because I think it's very, very cool that they do offer this help uh, in their, their coalition counselor. That's something that, uh, as I click here carefully, that is not offered in, a, um, in the common application. So also, what is the uh, coalition? The, the member schools. I wanted to quickly show this to you because you can, I'm, I'm looking at the big screen, so I'm having a little trouble here. Uh, looking at the, the schools by state. So you like say, well, I know the school, but I'm not sure what, you know, I know it's in Illinois or it's in Colorado. You can find them by state. Or, hey, I know it's definitely a public school. I definitely know it's a private school. Or if you want, you know the name of the school, you're like, hey, I want to just find out real quick if it's there. You can search it that way. Or you could check it out alphabetically. It is in alphabetical order, uh, literally in alphabetical order, all the schools that are that are here. So that is different ways of checking to see if your school is here and if it's worth your time. That's really important to to check your schools because you're like, oh yeah, yeah, Louis D. Fresh said this was cool and all that, but Louis D. Fresh, even though say may be cool, your schools may not be on there. So you definitely want to check out the member schools to see if it is something that is worth your time and effort. And uh, also these are, are kind of little past events. I think it's kind of cool in case you're wondering, hey, you know, what, is it worth it? What's going on? Uh, more event recordings. You also may want to connect with them through the mailing list. And again, you're going to apply through Coalition on SCORE. I don't have a SCORE app, so a SCORE thing. And I'm sure there's an app for that as well. You can follow them on, on Twitter. Uh, so you have lots of different things that you can use here for your coalition application and again this is the home page and again uh i uh, this will probably be my my clip for, for the video uh this is my ending anyway that was uh that is kali defending defending the house uh i'm sure that uh i got something from amazon and that's why uh they uh she could hear like a cricket go by i'm telling you anyway as I was saying, this is going to be the ending of my uh, of my video. I'm going to talk a little louder because I know Kali's not going to stop barking for a little bit. Um, it's important to go out of your comfort zone. Definitely go out of your comfort zone. Uh, like this this coalition application, I've been procrastinating and delaying. And oh my gosh, should I do it? Should I not do it? It is important, even though you've not done it, to look and explore to see if it is good for you. That again, that is a, a recurring theme. Yeah, something I delivered in Amazon something that is that is important because just because I, I do something with freshwater fish you might want to do something a little different add a little different subtract a little differently you may want to use the coalition app you may want to use the common app you may want to just use uh, the regular school app you know there there there's not one set way of doing fish there's not one set way of doing college applications it is critically important that you get out of your comfort zone and try something new and I, I think soon enough I'm going to try something else uh, for college that, I'm, that I've never that I've never that I've been wanting to explore that I may explore next time, but I'm not telling you. This is Louis D. Fresh.